Hi, this is Bill with Machinery Consultants out in Salt Lake City, Utah. I'd like to thank you for your time to preview this machine. This is another absolutely amazing Monarch 10 E. happens to be serial number 43792. This machine is in very good condition, it's a very low hour machine. That being said, this machine happens to be our stock number 4706. As you can tell, it has a wide selection of tooling. It's a very popular machine. All common wear parts are available through Monarch. This particular machine has an inverter drive setup. It's a Sabina package. We'll show you in the, uh, on the rear panel here in just a minute. But we can go from 0 to 4,000 RPM. I have an inch point four spindle bore. And what we're seeing here, there, is a D13 cam lock spindle. So our goal is to show you the condition of the machine, which is absolutely superb, how it runs, go through some of the functions and operations, and then that being said, we'll go ahead and touch on the tooling in just a minute and everything that comes with the machine. Okay, let's go ahead and speed it up and slow it down a little bit, Paul, and see what you've got. We're currently running at about, what did you say we're running at right now? We're currently running at about 1,500. Okay, I'm clear. Go ahead, Paul. This machine has 12 and a half inches swing over the bed. It's 7 inches swing over the slide and 20 inches distance between centers. That's 2,000 RPM. Twenty five hundred RPM. Three thousand RPM. Three five. Looking good. weight on this machine is approximately 3,200 pounds. It has a 5 horsepower main drive motor. Okay, that's 4,000 RPM. You want to pan in on the spindle while you're slowing it back down to about 1,500. Okay, go ahead, buddy. Another thing I wanted to show you is how easy it is to operate the machine. We're coming in off of this lever right here. Very simple and straightforward. Okay, the machine is set up. Here at Machinery Consultants in Salt Lake City, Utah, it has a D13 cam lock spindle nose. It's a 5 horsepower. It's a hard bed machine. I'll get you to a nice, a nice angle here so that we can go ahead and run some of those, engage some of those feeds like we were talking about. Speaking of the feeds, I'd like to point out, go ahead, Paul. I'd like to point out that we have 50 feeds from 16.1 to 50 gipper, and we have 60 threads ranging from 3 to 184 TPI. You'll see on this feed here, Coming towards the. Where are we going? I'm sorry. Is that behind the machine? Apron's going away from the chuck. Okay, very good. Opposite direction, please. Pan in nice and close there. Okay. Apron's going towards the chuck. Cross slide in. So you'll see we have a feed reverse knob, a threading knob, and a spindle speed knob. So between those three, an in inch threading, we've accomplished 100% of our task. Now getting into some of the options here, we have a uh, left hand chuck bar. It's manufactured by Flex Bar. Again, we, we know it's a T13 cam lock spindle nose. We've got the halogen work light. I'm going to walk around the back in just a second. 
Okay, go ahead and disengage and get back to your comfort zone if you like. I'll show you the taper attachment on the back. Yes, this machine does in fact have a taper attachment. Hey Paul, I'm going to have you go ahead and move the apron up and down and we're going to show off the ways just a little bit. While I'm getting the tooling ready, I want to get me ready for a way shot. Okay, here we are. Here's the goods. The tooling. Okay, what we have here, I'd like to point out, a uh, we have a 6-jaw, 8-inch diameter D13 direct mount buck chuck. I have a 4-jaw and a 7.5-inch 4-jaw buck chuck. I have all of the original owner's manuals that come with the machine. This is the 10 E Toolmaker's Way owner's manual. It's a, it's a very comprehensive, nice book. It goes through all of the, all of the uh, setup, factory, common wear parts, things of that nature. It's the bread and butter of, of how we uh, we operate here. We like to include all of the original manuals and all the documentation. This one here is kind of fun. Backing up just a little bit. What you're seeing here is a Hardinge Monarch, Hardinge and Monarch selection of what we call a 2J collet. These are our 2J collets. Okay, and the, there's various different uh, brands here, and various different sizes here. The two main brands are either Hardinge or Monarch. Most 90% uh, of them happen to be the Hardinge. Now what we're coming off of with a uh, 2J uh, style collet chuck is what we call a 2A D3 model. That's a Hardinge Brothers Sorgen, Sorgen Hardinge Speed Chuck. Now you'll know. That has a D13 on the back side of it. So we have a D13 direct mount on all of these chucks. Now, additionally, I also have an 11 inch, right here is an 11 inch D13 uh, face plate. It's a T slotted face plate. All right, so all that in a second chip. By the way, here's the uh, taper attachment bed clamp that goes on the reverse screw to support the screw coming off of the taper attachment. Okay, we did want to point out these ways up here, the headstock. Let me get on your left. Go ahead and take the position on the right. I'll have you crank the cross light in and out, then we'll just show them the tailstock. Okay, full way inspection here. Let's do the cross light also, if you don't mind. Go ahead, you're fine. So without you being here in Salt Lake City running this machine, this is as, as close and as personal as we can possibly make it. Additionally, Paul wanted me to point out the fact that these dials here happen to be these happen to be inch inch graduated on the top, uh, and it's a satin chrome finish. So very nice. Let's show them the tailstock, Paul. The quill on that is uh, it's very refined. It has its etchings directly from the factory. And that happens to be on the very top side. I don't know if you can even see it or not. Thank you so much. And here's where we're talking about the dial with the etching marks on that. Okay, so in conclusion, uh, again, this was recently released from a research laboratory. It's a Monarch 10 EE, our stock number 4706, serial number 43792. Oh, the one thing we forgot to show them. You want to show them that Sabina drive packaging here. Again, this is set up with an inverter, an electronic inverter, and that's for your variable speed, infinitely variable speed. Let's see, I'm kind of limited with this being on a tripod, so I'll do the best I can. I'll just pan in real fast. 
Can you hit your flashlight in there by chance? Do you have your little flashlight on you? So what we're seeing here is a Sabina electronic drive package. And that's incorporating with the machine for an infinitely variable drive from 0 to 4,000 RPM straight up. There we go. Let me get in a little bit. Thank you. That's the money shot right there. Thank you, buddy. Okay. Well, if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at any time. Our phone number here in Salt Lake City is at 801-531-9500. You'll find all of this information on our website at www.machineryconsultants.com. Until next time, I'd like to thank you for your time to preview this lovely chili package and this wonderful machine. This is Bill Machinery Consultants. Feel free to give me a call at any time. Be happy, be healthy, and have a great day. Thanks again.